Good morning and welcome to our Benefice Prayers. It's a bit cold outside today, so I thought I'd sit in the window and just show you the view of the garden rather than actually sitting outside and freezing. But it's a pleasure to welcome you to our Benefice Prayers. It was announced yesterday that um, all schools will remain closed now until the 18th of January, along with um, colleges and universities. So for your personal prayers today, I'd like to invite you to simply pray for anyone involved in education, for those who are teaching, for those lecturing, uh, for those who are the support staff and the ancillary workers in our places of education. Pray too for the parents who at very short notice are having once again now to work out um, homeschooling arrangements, to work out childcare cover, and to try <coughs> and reorganize their lives around this latest decision. So I'm inviting you very simply to pray for anyone who is affected by the decision to close our education establishments at, at this time. And now then on to our daily benefits prayers. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Almighty God, you fed your people in the wilderness and guided them by cloud and fire, giving commandments to order their lives. Give us eyes to see your purpose, perseverance to follow where you lead, and courage to know the truth that sets us free, that our lives may be blessed and your will may be done. Blessed be God forever. We say together the canticle, Jesus, Saviour of the world, Come to us in your mercy. We look to you to save and help us. By your life laid down on the cross, you set your people free. We look to you to save and help us. When they were ready to perish, you saved your disciples. We look to you to come to our help. In the greatness of your mercy, loose us from our chains. Forgive the sins of all your people. Make yourself known as our saviour and mighty deliverer. Save and help us that we may praise you. And when you come in your glory, make us to be one with you and to share the life of your kingdom. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. God speaks to his people through the prophet Isaiah. <clears throat> Do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be afraid, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my victorious right hand. This is my comfort in my trouble. Your promise gives me life. We say together, God the Father, have mercy on us. God the Son, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Let us pray. Be exalted, Lord, above the heavens. May your glory cover the earth. Renew your church in holiness and give your people the blessing of peace. Keep our nation under your care and guide us in justice and truth. Let your way be known on earth, your saving power among all nations. Do not let the needy, O God, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Guide those who serve in public office, that they may work for the common good. Shelter those who suffer from hunger, sickness or loneliness, that the presence of Christ may bring them health and wholeness. I commend myself and all for whom I pray to the mercy and protection of God. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O God, you know us to be set in the midst of so many and great dangers, that by reason of the frailty of our nature we cannot always stand upright. Grant to us such strength and protection as may support us in all dangers and carry us through all temptations. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the light of Christ shine in our hearts. Amen. Well, thank you for 
excuse me. Thank you for joining me for our daily benefits prayers here today. And um, I'm not sure yet whether we will be streaming a service at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon from All Saints in Land of North. It all depends on the decision as to whether churches are or are not remaining open. Um, we're still awaiting that decision, but I'm assuming for the moment that nothing has changed. So hopefully the service will be streamed at two o'clock tomorrow afternoon from All Saints in Land of North and then at 10 a.m. Um, from St Mary's Church on Thursday morning. Um, if that changes, I'll post some information on Facebook. We'll get Andrew Edgar to email things out through our usual benefits contact lists. So keep an eye on your emails, keep an eye on Facebook, and if anything changes as a result of yesterday, yesterday's announcements, we will let you know as soon as possible. But however you're able to join me, I look forward to you joining me once again to join in prayers either in church or here from the rectory, as we move forward together um, in this next stage. So um, maintain your daily exercise for your mental health and your well-being. Maintain your spiritual exercises in prayer for your spiritual help, health and your relationship with God. And I look forward to joining you. I'm not Joe Wicks, but I can help you with your spiritual well-being rather than your physical one uh, as much as I can. So I look forward to seeing you tomorrow morning. God bless. Oh, sorry, tomorrow afternoon. God bless and goodbye.